Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. So I am here with my best friend, Aiden. Hi. You may have seen her in one or two of my videos in the past. Um, but anyway, so we were hanging out today um, while I'm down for the week from college. And um, I had a gift card to this place called Fairview Gardens that I wanted to just take a look at. And they had a ton of um, really cool fairy garden stuff. And I've actually never made a fairy garden before. So we each picked out some stuff and we're going to make our own fairy gardens today. So we just want to take you along for the process with that. All right, so everything that we got, we have on this table here. Um, we're both going to start off actually with the same container. So I'll make one in here, and then Aiden has her own container here. Um, we also have some little miniature plants, which are actually really cool, tiny plants. So they won't get much bigger than this. Um, I got all hardy ones, but she has a tropical one. So um, all these will be able to survive outside because I plan on leaving this container outside. However, I think Aiden's going to leave hers um, inside over the winter. So you can use tropical plants, but I just wanted to make mine a little bit easier to take care of. Um, and then we have some other small stuff. Like I have like this little raccoon statue and some other things, other like little small mushrooms, watering can. Aiden has like a frog and a tree, <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's really cool. And then um, we also have like moss that we can put um, on there as well. And then the last thing too is I actually had some of these left over from other projects. They're just like regular like gravel little rocks that you could use for an aquarium. So if we want any rocks, then we can put those in there as well. Um, but I'll speed up the rest of the time that we work on this and then we'll show you what it looks like in the end. really really well and we both had a lot of fun doing this I mean it didn't take very long to do because they're really small um, fairy gardens but I mean if you want to work on this yourself then you could certainly take it to any scale that you want you could make it however big or small that you want this is probably definitely on the smaller side but we still managed to fit three little plants inside each one of them um, but if you didn't want as many plants then you could add other things like other structures besides just the plants um, but I think what we added was just like the perfect amount for each little one um, so besides that, hope you guys like this video. Um, if you did like it, then give me a thumbs up and I'll maybe do some more projects like this um, in the future. But yeah, besides that, hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing I'd like to add with these containers is I didn't really share what plants that we have in here. Um, so I'm just going to go over that really quick in case you guys are interested. So the first thing is this Irish moss. Um, this is the one thing that actually both of these plants have. It's here and here. Um, this is a zone five through eight. So if it is um, in a zone five, then it should be hardy. But it's in a container, so it may not survive as well if you're in specifically zone five. But because we're zone six, then it should be fine. Uh, next, I have this Hosta. It just says Hosta Mini Assorted. Um, but same thing, zone five. But you can see the little baby Hosta right there. 
And the last one that I have is um, an Elwood's Pillar Cypress. Um, this is a five through nine, so a little bit warm tolerant, but same thing, zone five. Um, and then for Aiden's, there's the moss, and then there's this plant, which is called a gold money carpet. This one is hardy, zones five through eight. However, what makes her plant or her um, container not necessarily suitable for outside is the tall one, which is um, a tiny limey ficus. And this is a zone nine through 11, but definitely adds a lot of nice texture to it. So that's pretty much it for the plants.